we just want to say thank you so much for all that you guys do. Uh, from the hours that you spend uh, with our children, uh, specifically our boys Chase and Andy, uh, they have been uh, touched and encouraged by your guys' uh, lives and the way that you live and the way that you treat them. Uh, it's so wonderful uh, and we're so thankful to you. You could spend a lot of time in other places. There's plenty going on on Saturday nights, Sunday, Sunday nights, and weekdays when you meet in the small groups and community groups with the kids. You could choose to do a lot of other things, but you've chosen to give up your life to these kids and we can't say thank you enough. One of the things I noticed first off was that these volunteers had a six-year commitment to the small groups. And I thought that was very impressive that they would have that level of commitment towards our kids. One of the things that we're particularly thankful for is that you guys provide a safe place for our kids to talk about issues that they can't necessarily talk about with their mom or I because it's too dicey or too sketchy or too, you know, they're insecure about it and they would never talk about certain things with us but you guys talk about it and sometimes that overflows and we get to talk about it as a result of the conversations that you guys have have initiated on how to pursue Christ through the difficult issues of life, either in school or with relationships or whatever those things might be. His leader would call and say, let's go, I've got to shop for a chair or I'm going garage sailing and I would, I would listen to the conversation and I would think, there is, what is, is he crazy? I can't, he would choose to spend that kind of free time with my 12 year old or my 13 year old. As a mom, I love to see my sons learning about, from their small group leaders, how to love their wives well, and how to love their children well, how to lead a balanced life, um, how to be that hero in this world, and to love the Lord with all their heart, soul, mind, and strength. Well, I think as a dad, it's kind of like what Todd uh, talked about recently as far as you know, his kid wanting to be Spider-Man and to make a, a, you know, to be a, make a different world and to be a hero in that world and for Christ. And she is a secondary source that they can go to and I trust her totally with the information that she gives them. And it's funny because a lot of times the girls will come home and say, you know what we were talking about a couple weeks ago? We covered it at a small group tonight. Lon was so good and now we understand what you were talking about. As mom, I have really enjoyed um, seeing the girls, the um, small group leaders with my girls really be faithful to, to work with girls and working through junior high and high school, girl conflict and just uh, bringing them together, doing fun things, really relating with them. I just want to say thanks to Dustin, David, Bridget, Jenny, Gavin, <laughs> and the other volunteers that I know have touched our kids' lives. As, as the parents of triplet girls, we only get one shot at teaching various things at certain ages because it all hits at once and so we haven't had older kids to practice on and so the stakes are a little bit higher but it's real comforting to have somebody like Lon that I can go to when we're hearing about certain issues at school or in their relationships and just get another perspective. It has been a great blessing uh, first with David and with Dustin to watch the impact on my son uh, Blake and how he's been shored up in his ideals, his perspective, his faith, uh, how he's come home engaged me. The picture of Blake's life is not finished, uh, but as it is, there will be two signatures at the bottom and an artist, and it will be David and Dustin and others here at Watermark that will have made his life complete. And as a dad, I know that I'm humbled by it. Thanks leaders. Thank you for the prayers. Hey leaders, thanks so much for all the time that you've given for the skateboarding. <laughs> Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for the progressive riot, which turned into progressive exhaustion. Sonics, Starbucks. For the love you've given our kids. The Coke dates. Cupcakes, birthday greetings, emails. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You do so much and we're so appreciative. We cannot thank you all enough.